And it's a presentation of EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. So here they come, the road team now getting the football first to start this third quarter. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. A second down throw for Vic. Escaping the pressure right. He completes it to Julio Jones. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards on the play. And until that point, we haven't seen Julio Jones. That's hard to believe here this late in the game. And no one more frustrated than Julio Jones because receivers feed off of catches. That's their fuel, and that's also their affirmation. He hasn't been getting much of that in this game, and their team is losing, and he wants to have a better effect on the game. Just the first connection, Ryan to Jones there. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. That's going to be caught. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Hey, First go. and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They come out here in the eye. Oh, how about this call down near the goal line? And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Julio Jones taking it in from two yards out. And his guys have made this a one-score game now. Dan Bailey now for the extra point. Extra point up and good by Bailey. And that will get him one closer. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Seahawks offensive unit. They'll have it first to begin the third. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession. That was punt the football because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing but control the game offensively. Put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Here's Michael Vick. Flush to his right. And going deep for Hill. And that's caught inside the 35. And he gets all the way down to the 30-yard line. It's a big play there for Seattle. 49 yards. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. And a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. 
It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Well, that play was over before it even got started. Thanks for nothing, huh? How about that? That sets up a very difficult third down call now. The last two plays each lose a yard. They'll try to move forward here on third and 12. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. Nice job there defensively on third down. Not only did they string the play out, but they didn't allow any room for a cutback. Really well organized on the defensive side. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. Made his first. This now from 46 yards away. And Dawson's kick is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So a good kick there, and they put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that. But in the NFL, defense is awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. Be able to knock the ball through the post. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. Not, Either the, way. not the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. And now back out comes the offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Vic now. Jones has it. He finds an opening past the 40. Jones breaking from the contact. They give him a gain of 37. As we continue to advance in the NFL, as people continue to scout players, they really don't care as much about body types as they care about those guys who can make people miss, run through tackles, and gain all that additional run after catch. Anybody has that ability, they want them on their team. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. side completion to Jones and taking it to the 15 yard line before he's brought down and that one good for 16 and the drive will continue now a play fake here on first down connects it to Roberts right side and he'll be out of bounds taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12 that throw good for four it's second down. Up, up. Eagle, eagle. By 90, by 20. Come on, come on. It'll be Vic once more. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked off down near the five. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, I don't think we'll have to look very hard to find out play of the game. That was an absolutely monstrous big play right there. Backs to the wall. The offense has it in the red zone. Driving for the winning score. And he says, not on my watch. And that is one happy bunch on the sidelines. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Vic on second down. Flushed out right. They're going deep for Hill. And this is, oh my goodness, he's pulled it in one-handed. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Tyreek Hill, 94 yards. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. 
So from back deep, deep in their home territory, all the way into the end zone. Do you think they expected to score on that one? I'm not sure they expected to score, but they also show that they're not averse to taking a little bit of a risk there, right? Taking a chance because the normal call is take care of the football, be run safe. It, be safe. Instead, they put it in the air and took a gamble, and it paid off in a big way. That wasn't an analytics call. That wasn't a fantasy guy's call. That was like a video game call right there. It was a bit of a video game call, but it worked. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. The second down attempt there knocked down as it leaves the cornerback's hand, and it's incomplete. And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double, triple move routes to try and shake their guys. Chris, they have, you're right, they have had no room to breathe. Now he's forced out left. And Jones has it over the middle. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get the third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. So first and 10 now from the 30. Desperation throw deep downfield. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. It's not a bad idea. Not at all. You've got a bunch of defenders reeling a little bit back on their heels after just giving up a big play. You take another shot and hope to complete it. In this case, though, it falls incomplete. Buying time to his left. Over the middle, complete. That's Jones. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. So they'll get nine there as that sets them up better for third down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. From the red zone now, Vic. Now he steps away. His throw caught at about the five. And all the way down inside the five to the four. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. They had two tight ends in the formation on that one. It looked to me like he had his pick of receivers downfield. I think he was just planning on going over the middle. That's what he did. Picked up first down, too. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll just chuck this one up into row G. It's incomplete. No grounding call there. He had a receiver near the right sideline. It was pretty clear there. He just needed to get rid of that one. And he did have a receiver in the area, but initially my view was obstructed, and I thought that was going to be grounding, but clearly the correct call made, and that is no call. Is that why you threw your play sheet down? Is that why you did it? Is that the flag? Can't be giving me up. I got a lot of issues up here in the boom. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. The Pro Bowl wideout Julio Jones is intended receiver, and it's third and four. All right, Captain, it's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Now we think they're trying to dial up on third and goal. Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're... And he takes this one into the end zone, and all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. I'm not 
not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they have a slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Now here's a timeout coming on the defensive side of the ball as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Hey, Another go. yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. Before this play happens, we're going to get a timeout here.